Show and welcome back and we are getting ready to move into our third conversation for today. We're talking about the details of this year's Placentia Sidewalk Arts Festival. Joining us at this time we have Christine Small who is a member of the BTIA in Placentia and we have Gilvano Suezi who is the coordinator of Arts After Dark. Yes. I feel like that's a dangerous event for you to coordinate, but we're going to get the details about all of it. Good morning and welcome. Good, Good morning. morning. Thanks for having Thanks. us. So it's, I can't believe, it. when we think about how time flies, I, I start to see uh, particular guests or particular topics come up and I say, wow, it's time for that already. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but it is time for the Placentia Sidewalk, Sidewalk Art Festival an event that has really mushroomed over the years and become uh, a significant uh, event for artists to display their work and for Belizeans and tourists to really have a great time. So I'm going to start off with you, Christine, just talking about coordinating this event on your end. Right. So we pretty much start like November mm -hmm. um, with mistletoe ball being in December. We start talking about it early and getting our sponsors together, which for this year, our main sponsor is Naya ah. Resort and Spa. And um, so it takes some time to, you know, get everything together, gather the musicians and everything. Um, mm -hmm. We have about 40 to 50 tents that we have to, you know, locate along the sidewalk where the arts uh, festival is yeah. located. And um, yeah, so it takes a, a quite a bit of time. How organize. about getting the artists on board? I mean, I, I, it seems to me that uh, you literally just try to maximize every corner <laughs> of uh, the main uh, walking area for artists to be able to use. Well, since it's our 14th year, we've had artists from all over the country coming. Uh -huh. And we, it's been so successful. Every year we get new artists coming in. So mm -hmm. it's quite a grand event. Um, people start contacting us from December, mm -hmm. you know, securing their space. So, Now, is it only Belizean artists that will be engaged or uh, you've expanded it as well? Mostly Belizean artists. Okay. Um, yes, Belizean artists on a whole. Okay. Yes. And Gilvano, tell yes, us about yes. uh, your role in putting together Arts After Dark. Dark. Okay, the whole idea came out from about last year, January, uh, when I was working with my uncle Stuart Crone mm. at Naya, and his concept... This man has so many relatives, yes. right? <laughs> <laughs> the idea was that, well, the resort has 30 different unique units, yeah. and each one of them is highlighting a different Belizean artist. Mm -hmm. So when you enter, say, room 18, I know it by heart, it's uh, Papo's room. So you'll see a nice painting right above the bed, two more by the kitchens, and a beautiful installation of old boat paddles that I've collected. So we, from then on, we've been working with many artists. I would say even though it's 30 rooms, we've worked with over 80 different artists. We're talking basket makers, we're talking lights, mm -hmm. uh, we're talking side tables, we're talking even napkin holders. Uh, each aspect of the resort that we could make locally, which was 99%, we made it here. And what that did was spark off many other interests, meaning that how besides the traditional painters, we have many artists who came on board and we kind of created what you call like a mini industry because we had them do unique things that they hadn't done before. Yeah. So introducing a new subject, a new material and a new product, yeah. which they can take off on their own. So as we worked along, uh, Mr. Crone had the idea, well, Placenta Sidewalk Festival is their little space. So he wanted to do something. First, the idea was to get some of the artists uh, to donate one or two pieces. We auction it and we give it to the community, maybe at the library or school or so forth. But then he said, you know what? I will give the Sidewalk Festival some startup cash mm -hmm. because it's always a challenge. I mean, I heard the other day that the um, Kikawker Lobster Fest, that's going to happen because of sponsorship and so forth and other things. But then um, he decided, you know what? I'll give cash up front. But still, what we wanted to do was to highlight the artists. Mm -hmm. And we decided first to start with the Placencia artists mm -hmm. who have been highlighted in the area, but also at the resort. So we're looking like Lola Delgado, which is an icon in St. Bite right down the street from Naya. You have um, Anton Leslie, who's an artist and also a promoter of the arts. Uh, Ernest Garcia, mm -hmm. great fisherman, outdoor man, environmentalist, and great artist. And then we have the Sierra brothers, uh, Grayson and um, what's the name of the other one? 
Omar. Omar, correct. Yeah, I'm not good with names. But then um, all these guys we are highlighting, they have done a special piece just for our gala called Art After Dark. Mm -hmm. And we will go from 7 to about 11. From 7 to 8, we'll do little cocktails where you meet the artists. The pieces will be on display and you'll have a silent auction. Uh, we'll have a nice big screen where we'll see other works from the artists, but also they have done time lapse of their works. So you'll see how the piece was created. Oh, nice. A little special. Yeah. And then after that, from about 8 to 9, 9.30, we have a dinner. You mm -hmm. sit with the artists, you have a nice dinner, and then you could come down and then make your little bids and so forth. And we should wrap up by 10, 30, 11. Okay. So you get the opportunity to meet the artist, purchase the art, and see how, how it was, it was made. made, which yes. I think is perhaps the highlight. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Because many times we see the piece and yeah. you know, it is, ooh, ah, it's nice. But when you understand the process, the amount of work, yeah. the time, and even the inspiration, you get to appreciate it more. Yeah. Uh, you make a better sale when you have a good story. Yeah, absolutely. And, and I think people have no idea how much work, wow, look at that, how yeah. much work goes into uh, putting together an art piece. And that's really part of the value. Of exactly. course, the, the idea is the other. So Christi Christine, let's, let's uh, obviously we have Arts in the Dark taking place at Naya, and you have uh, other activities taking place throughout the duration of the festival as well. So let's talk about what people can expect when they come down to Placent. Let me ask the question I always ask, are there rooms available still? <laughs> <sighs> That's a good question. Probably not. Um, maybe, yeah. Go ahead. I would think that there are still rooms available. Okay. Like this year it's been really upscaled. We have people who have been just, you know, booming with their spaces and adding more. So I would okay. feel that there are more rooms available in yeah. the village. Um, as far as activities, mm -hmm. we are going to have the um, Pen Caetano and Emmett Young and the Talawala Band. Okay. Both days, Saturday and Sunday. Mm -hmm. um, DJ Swag is going to be there mm -hmm. both days as well. Uh, Saturday between 1 and 1.30, we're going to do the no oil banner on the beach. So okay. we encourage everybody to participate in that. Mm -hmm. um, we have Zumba, we'll have fire dancing. Oh. So we have quite a few different activities yeah. besides all the different art displaying along the sidewalk. So you have visual art, obviously. Yes. Uh, are you still doing, I know there's some food competitions that take place as well. Um, not the competitions, but there will be lots of yummy foods. Mm. Um, it's our last weekend for before lobster season is closed because mm -hmm. it's closed on the 15th of February. So there will be tons of lobster dishes. Mm. So eat as much as you can. Eat your lobster <laughs> because it's until June. June 15th, yeah, yeah for uh, Lobster Fest, mm. correct. Okay. So. So uh, we have the bands that will be playing at night, the DJs that will be playing at night, the art on display, food of every kind. Drinks. Uh, drinks, drinks, of course. Yes, well. And uh, you have some additional entertainment like your fire dancers and Zumba. Zum Zumba. When is your Zumba class? Um, when is it? Uh -huh. I think they usually have it on Fridays at the Tipsy Tuna. Oh, okay. So right. they're going to fit it in somewhere within the weekend as Correct. well. Yes. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yes. So, in terms of looking at the uh, the festival itself and what it what you aim to achieve for residents in Placencia, this is high season, so you do have quite a good flow of tourists. Right. But it is an event that you really want not just foreigners to come and visit. You want Belizeans to come and experience the art. How much do you feel that you have been able to reach that target? We have been very successful. Mm -hmm. It had every each year. It's been getting bigger and bigger, and mm -hmm. we have Belizeans from all over the country coming mm -hmm. to this event. So we have done a really good job. Um, as you can see, yeah. lots of Belizeans walking around, enjoying yeah. it, and we just have art of all kinds. You know, the baskets, the pottery, mm -hmm. uh, painting. Uh, jewelry, mm -hmm. just multiple different things, including food. Mm -hmm. And also, I was just going to correct you that it's between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. in the evening, so we don't really have the nightlife. Okay. Yes. Okay. So the bands will be during the daytime. During the day. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. We also have the para, um, para not pa the steel band is oh, the para, para fix. 
Panorific. Panorific. Sorry. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, that's on Sunday. Japan. And we always have, we've had them over the last few years and they've been excellent. They are so much fun. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're really good. So they're going to bring a great energy to the place yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. They're also, uh, well, other aspects, they're raffles. Mm -hmm. I know I've won a couple raffles. Uh, wow. Yeah. Um, and then there's some of the local NGOs, like the Humane Society mm -hmm. from Placentia. So there's some educational boots. I know Kubola is there, so local books and so forth. Um, but one of the, the great, I mean, being a participant myself, one of the great aspects of it is two things. Besides making good sales, it's Valentine's weekend. So everybody's looking for unique gifts, Ooh, right? Um, I, I have been very fortunate to, to hook up with a couple of the local um, guest houses and hotels, and they give us a good discount being mm -hmm. locals and being artists. I know sometimes we even trade, so it's kind of cool. You don't have to bring cash. But then, um, especially Sea Spray gave me a great deal, and we got some rooms for uh, some of the artists because it's a long travel. You yeah. have gas, you have overhead, you have food. Mm -hmm. You want to take your family too. So um, there's still spaces. I know Naya have some spaces. We're sold out on tickets for the dinner, but there Ooh. is a there's cocktails, so you can still come out, have drinks, and hang out with the artists, and you can still <laughs> bid. You can still bid. You can still bid. bid. Just don't right. just don't expect yeah. to sit down yeah. at dinner. Well, we'll have right. little snacks for you. Gilvana <laughs> <laughs> uh, promises to throw some scraps. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> but one of, one of the main benefits that yeah. I get, like I said, besides making the sales, you make contact with a lot of other artists, Yeah. right? So I can see what they have out there. If I'm working on a project and a client is looking for something you need, stained glass, like, yeah. oh, I found stained glass artists and repairing stuff in the churches and so forth. Yeah. Um, I found people who do bamboo furnitures, mm -hmm. a resort, one of bamboo and bar. Uh, even after that, you have so many shops there, so you do a beautiful networking, yeah. right? Where you don't even might have to go there, you put the stuff on the plane or on the bus, and you send your stuff and you, yeah. and you cut a deal. So it's a great opportunity for both the buyer, the artist, and the supporter of the arts. Now, I, I want to ask you, and I'm glad that you, you, you identified yourself as, as the artist that you are, but also somebody who promotes art yes. uh, that's a part of, of your passion. When you look at an event like this where so many Belizean, and it's not even all, yes. we wish it was all, no, but so many Belizean artists come out of all kinds. Yes. You know, you're talking, look at that. That's yeah, uh, slate carving. Slate carving, carving. sculptures, yeah. Jippy Jappa uh, basket skates, ba uh, basket to tie, furniture, furniture clothing, yeah, clothing, jewelry, jewelry everything. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, when you look at an, an, a, a, a massive display of the talent that we have, mm -hmm. uh, what does that represent to you? Well, it makes me feel very happy because Productivity is the most important thing. Mm -hmm. I don't want to get into the politics where we import more than we export. Mm -hmm. But we are very creative people. I have traveled. I have done a couple workshops like with Carrie Fest and so forth. And when, when I get there and I take samples of the work, everyone from the islands are impressed. All they have is sand and shells. Mm -hmm. We have all different types of wood. We don't even have to start naming them. We have seeds, we have shells, mm -hmm. right? We have uh, raw fabric and stuff like that. When you're talking like the jippy jappa, you can make mats and all mm -hmm. stuff out of that. So we have a lot of raw material. We have a lot of raw talent. Yeah. All, all you need is more of the opportunity. I mean, yes, our population doesn't support it as yeah. much because of the size, but then um, I am, I am very impressed, and like I said, I've met a guy the other day who's making uh, leather bags. But when I'm talking leather bags, I'm not talking a little bag that I would use at the farm. Yeah. I'm talking like a Gucci, Armani, or whatever yeah. these things are. Oh, wow. yeah. And I ask him, well, where can I buy this? He says, well, I sell online now, yeah. which is good. I mean, that's modern times. But like I tell Rebecca this, Stern does some beautiful oh, ones. Oh, yeah. yes, definitely. Some of the Mayan ladies, I, I'm, I'm sure they still do, but they were selling at Nordstrom. There yeah. was a, a local Peace Corps, the, I think, uh, who helped them. The, the sex a little pushed out. Yeah. Yes, so there's a lot, a lot of possibilities possibilities uh, the thing is that how it's a great opportunity not just like making connections but sharing ideas yeah. because you would have had a piece of wood you're making for a maybe for a coaster and then you see a guy cut a hole and you put some jewels around and turn it into a frame the same thing have so many different ideas yeah. and so so it's it's like a breeding ground for more creativity and and for connecting excellent well that uh, I mean the way he's <laughs> described it already there's so much to check out mm -hmm. yeah. and I know that uh, people have learned to appreciate a lot more uh, the talent that we do have and the value of having a Belizean painting or basket yes. or furniture in your home uh, is worth so much more now. So it's a great opportunity for people to be, do, to be able to do those purchasing. Uh, let's talk about uh, the details and the logistics of the festival itself. As you said, it's from 10 a.m. till 6 p.m. this Saturday and Sunday? Sunday. Correct. Okay. 
and uh, of course there may still be rooms available we're having a conversation earlier this year so mm -hmm. you're right. right there may still be rooms available but go ahead and and, and try to call and see uh, whether or not you can find a space to stay and you usually have a, a art competition for t-shirts too is that oh, yes. still ongoing the lobster competition for the for, not for no, the, that's for lobster oh that's for lobster yes, yes, yes. Yes. see i'm getting them but, confused but, yeah I so, know, it's, <laughs> they both have to do with kind of lobster. Yeah. You know, the lo closing of the lobster, lobster season, season, the opening of the lobster season. Yeah, say pleasant to people <laughs> really love their lobster. <laughs> yes. What are yeah. some of the must-see uh, boots that, that uh, you have arranged for this year? That you really got to tell people, find their way there. Well, this year we're actually going to have the Ich Kakao um, coming to do a live presentation ah. of how they make their chocolate. So that's going to be hit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's a very special grinding process. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. yes. Tedious, so. but the result is yeah. delicious. Yes, <laughs> I think that's going to be very exciting. Ooh. And we have a bunch of local jewelers on the peninsula. Uh -huh. So um, from glass to lionfish jewelry, mm. um, just beautiful work. So. Mm. We have a lot of the Mayan uh, Jepe Japa oh. baskets mm -hmm. will be there, yeah. pottery making. Walter Castillo um, will be there. Yes. All, Tano. all the yeah, major definitely. artists mm -hmm. will be there. So it's definitely a good time for everybody to come out and mm -hmm. enjoy a part of it. And mm -hmm. like I said, each year it's just been getting bigger and grand. So. And the weather has been beautiful so Fair far. Fair. I know. Yep, yep. Start yeah. off cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and remember, it's the Saturday and the Sunday. Yeah. Saturday's a little hyper. Sunday, everybody's recovering from Saturday night, but we're still there. <laughs> yes. So, um, it, and you get better, well, not better deals, but you get good deals on Sunday because we don't <laughs> yeah. want to take back anything. So. <laughs> <laughs> you want less of a load. No, exactly, yeah. exactly. And, you know, I think even if you can't find uh, a place to stay it isn't with the road uh, the way it is now oh, it yeah. isn't that bad to be able to yeah. drive down for the day and enjoy uh, the festival itself exactly anything you're looking forward to other than the arts in the dark at Naya well I'm definitely looking for new, for new stuff I yeah. mean I many people call me and contact me looking for new things so I'm always looking for for new stuff new artists mm -hmm. I actually met, met some in Cayo the other day at their little festival that they had and mm -hmm. encouraged them to go down uh, there's a lot of young artists with new ideas uh, graffiti style and um, a nice um, objects painting on feathers and all that stuff so there's a lot of cool new stuff uh, the, the Naya will have a boot with all the artworks that will be auctioned tonight as a little teaser oh. so that's a cool thing to come out and check uh, we'll have some live uh, performance I call it where the stuff will be made on site too oh. which is always I good. love live art yes yeah. yes chainsaw and yeah. everything so oh, wow. yeah so so you will get to see how things are made we'll have like the whole process from the wood that we pull out of the forest to, to the um, in between until a finished polished product so okay. there'll, there'll be a lot of good stuff to see all right so uh, and of course walking around the festival is free so yes. we don't have to talk about yeah. an entrance fee you know and I, I i have said it before and i'll say it again i think we have had this conversation each year and we know how much it has been growing we know how much people look forward to it and how much it is a great celebration of the artistic talent that we do have in the country so exactly. placentia sidewalk art festival this Saturday and Sunday, you definitely don't want to miss it. Anything else you'd like to add to the conversation? At this point, I know you have some sponsors to say thank you to. Yes, yeah. I do actually, if you don't mind. Yeah. Um, our main sponsor is Naya uh -huh. Resort and Spa. Mm -hmm. BTB also support us every year. Mm -hmm. They've been very grateful. The Tipsy Tuna Restaurant and Bar, Paradise Resort, King Louis Island Resort. Merle's Cafe, Mr. Q, Rick's Cafe, Brood Awakening, Cheval Mar Villas, Dolphins Production, Citrus Sensations, Remax, Max, Sailfish Resort, Reaches Bus Service, Go Press, Ch Chachis, Go See, Belizean Nirvana, and if we've missed anybody, please forgive me, but we're thanking <laughs> you anyways. <laughs> All right, of course, uh, you always need your support to be able to get events like this going. Best of luck this weekend, and thank you for coming in and sharing all the details with us. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. All right. We're going to go ahead and take our final break, and when we come back, we'll have our wrap-up, so stay tuned.